survive if I leave full of hoes huh? The pounds, the tons, the white, the keys Can't nobody tell me I ain't living like a G Peace, peace, y'all. Top of the top, man. You already know how it's going down. You know what it is, and you know who it is, man. It's your boy, Hood, and all that. And you are now locked in with me on another episode of Hip Hop with Hood, where we discuss everything hip hop. All right, look, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get right into it. Before we go any further, I'd just like to say my bad for not being consistent with you guys and not dropping in a few days, but um, I've been tending to this album, trying to get everything together, making sure everything is right, and I had uh, a few other things I had to attend to as well, but I'm back now. So let's jump right into it. What we're going to talk about today is Lil Durk. Now, at this point, um, I think it's pretty clear that everyone knows that he's dropping a new album. It's called Almost Held. He announced the official release date last night, which is May 26th, if I'm not mistaken. He also dropped a new video and single with J. Cole, which I happen to like. You know what I mean? The shit is dope. I don't know about you guys, but if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Um, you know, um, Lil Durk has been all over the media for the last couple of weeks. For a lot of different things, man. He sat down with the mayor of Chicago recently. He also been going uh, through this little internet, I'm not going to say beef, but war of words with NBA Youngboy. They were supposed to drop on the same day, but apparently Lil Durk was just using that for momentum purposes. I don't think he really had no plans to really drop on the same day as that nigga anyway. You feel what I'm saying? But um, what I wanted to speak today about is something that Lil Durk shared with his Instagram yesterday which was a dm between him and six nine now he made six nine a proposition he said that he would box six nine in dubai for 50 million dollars he said he would put up his own 50 million right and six nine could get his investors to invest his 50 million and instead of you know inciting violence they could just box it out you feel me he said stop the violence big man we could we could do this with the boxing gloves now of course six nine Turned that down because we already know what it is with this nigga. This nigga's a goddamn WWF uh, rap master and shit. You feel me? This nigga ain't really about that shit he be talking about. Like, so that, that didn't come as no surprise to me. Um, he said that he already knows that Dirk is on his album run, and that's the only reason he's trying to do it. But he said he would rather fight Dirk for free in the hotel room. I'm like, nigga, hotel room? Doggy, doggy, doggy. Pause, pause, my nigga. That shit sounds suspect to me. Who the fuck gonna fight in a hotel room? Like, what are you talking about, man? Like, wait a minute, man. Russell Westbrook voice. What are you talking about, man? You know what I mean? Well, look, man. Um, I happen to think that it might. It, that's not a bad idea, man. You know what I mean? All that shit he be talking. So, you know, show and prove, man. Throw the gloves on. Let's see what you got. You just got your ass beat for free in the gym. So, make some money, man. Let, let's see what happens. You like to be in the media, you want clout, so that'll, that'll give you a little bit of clout. But like I said, of course he turned it down, man. What do you guys think about this whole idea? Do you think it's some clownery, you know, straight foolishness, but foolery, or do you think it's a good idea? And you wouldn't mind saying something like that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you like this video, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, follow me on Instagram, man, at RealJHood underscore. Run me up. It's my new page, man. Uh... Also, make sure that you be on the lookout for my new album, Pesci 4, because it will be dropping soon. Crazy. I'm talking crazy. I'm talking that talk. Your boy is back after this. I need all the support I could get. And um, make sure that you look out for that uh, Most Wanted Volume 2 mixtape dropping May 25th also. All right? Have a great day, y'all. Salute.